a nail-biting finish here in Sage, Illinois, but it turns out to be an 8-4 to victory for the Gateway Grizzlies. I'm Mike Rodomsky here in the broadcast booth. Let's take you through the game now here with our recap packed with highlights. Early on, it was a pitcher's duel between the righty for Gateway, Tim Club, and the starter for the Evansville Otters, also a righty, Kyle Barry. In the first inning, we also saw some spark tackler defense as Donnie Ecker came up to the plate and Greg Alexander made a phenomenal play in the field. Popped up third base side and down towards the bullpens. D'Amico gives chase, running in and making a diving catch is Greg Alexander. A fair ball, but out number two. And that was a big play early on as this game would go scoreless all the way into the bottom of the fourth inning. That's when switch hitting center fielder Brendan Peters gets a double. Charlie List chips in with a sacrifice fly. And Jason Patton goes yard down to the shortest porch in right field to go ahead 4 to nothing. Another run in the fifth and three more runs in the seventh would help take that big commanding lead. But the Otters are starting to come on back in the eighth. They'd get a few runners on base against Tim Club, who started to tire, and Greg Alexander put the Otters on the board. Pitch. There goes the runner as Alexander shoots it out towards left center field. Gets down for a hit, walks on out towards the warning track, fielded by Peters, a throw into the cutoff man, and Cole comes around to score. An RBI single for Greg Alexander, and a base hit to now make it 8-1 to one gateway. And the Otters would score another run in that inning as a pop-up towards shallow center field was dropped out there by the shortstop, Tyler Heil. So then it's 8-2, to two. we go to the ninth inning, and Breck Draper, the backup catcher and infielder, is brought in to try to save the bullpen even some more innings. But he runs into a boatload of trouble. Few men get on base, and then all of a sudden, Andre Alvarado gets a two-run single. Then it's 8-4. to four. He puts a few more runners on base, and all of a sudden, bases are loaded with two outs. That's when Phil Warren is forced to bring in Jake Schaefer, and with the tying run at the plate, this is what happened. One-two pitch, a swing and a miss, and the ball game is over. Jake Schaefer has to come in for Gateway and rescue the Grizzlies. And he did so. Final numbers, eight runs on eight hits, one error for the Gateway Grizzlies. For the Otters, four runs on seven hits. They had two errors. The winning pitcher is Tim Club, one of his best starts of the year. Only two runs, one of them earned in his eight innings. The record for the righty improves to five and three. The loss goes to Kyle Barry. He allowed eight runs in his six innings of work, and his record drops to one and three. The save goes to Jake Schaefer. He came in in that pressure-packed moment, but was able to strike out Wiley with the bases loaded to tie up this series. Time of game, 2 hours and 48 minutes. There were 3,218 people here to see the Grizzlies win. Our player of the game here is the right fielder, Jason Patton. He had a two-run home run. He also had an RBI single and played a very big role in what turned out to be the Grizzlies' victory. So we will have another game coming up tomorrow, but before we do, we want to thank everyone who made this broadcast possible. First off, a special thanks to Brandon Godden, the executive producer at WUEV, and working back in our studios in Evansville, Indiana, providing all the highlights is our studio producer, Josh Woody. Great job, Josh. Once again, we really appreciate it. Please join us tomorrow night as Evansville and Gateway play the final game of this three-game series. First pitch is set for 7.05 with the Otters pregame show beginning at 6.45. Evansville right-hander Andy Wells, who is 0-1, with a 6.75 earned run average is on the hill for the Otters against lefty Ricky Meinhold, who is 1-2 this season with a 4.83 earned run average. Final score once again, Gateway, four, so Gateway 8, Evansville 4. For everyone here at GCS Ballpark, I'm Mike Radomski. Have a great night, everyone. The proceeding has been a presentation of Evansville Otters Baseball on 91.5 WUEV Evansville. For a complete game and broadcast schedule and to stay current on any Otters info, visit us online at EvansvilleOtters.com. Thanks for listening, and until next time, go Otters.
91.5 WUEV. Jam's the hottest music.